In this video tutorial, you will learn Yahoo Email raw basics for beginners. I will first show you how to sign up for a free Yahoo Email account. Then we will go into that account and I will show you just a few settings and options for that Yahoo Email account. And last, I will show you how to send and receive email using Yahoo Email. First, open up any internet browser. Then type in mail dot yahoo dot com hit enter click this button right here to sign up for a free yahoo email account Create my account. The account is created. You click right here for marketing preferences. This is basically spam, or if you want to know more about any of this, they'll send you email on it. I always like to clear all so they won't send me any emails I don't want. And then click save changes whenever you want to go to your yahoo email you just type in mail.yahoo.com and it'll go straight there this little intro gives you a few tips and tricks it's good to pay attention if you never had an email account from Yahoo. It's inbox, draft messages that you made but you want to send at a later date, sent folder, spam folder, trash. Here's your contacts. You can add different email addresses from Friends, business associates, family, you could all be saved here. Calendar. You could add different things to the calendar, sort of like a planner. Notepad. Like it states, it's just a notepad you could write notes in. Here's feeds. They're phasing this out, so you could just skip that. You could create folders here in case you want to add any extra folders. Say, for instance, bills. You could save all the bills to this folder. Here are the options. There's different option settings, as you can see. This is for signature creation at the end of every email. It'll be just placed there automatically. Spam, different settings for spam. Filters, as you can see at this moment, they're still tweaking it. They're still tweaking this. Vacation response. In case you're going on vacation somewhere or you will not be around your Yahoo email account or computer for a certain period of time, you could always send an automatic response to anybody who sends you an email message, just saying your whereabouts or exactly anything you want. This is a feature that will allow you to get email on your cell phone. Contact options. This is basically an address book.
Here's a first email message that you receive automatically. It's from Yahoo. It will give you tips and tricks. If you want to expand the email message, just double click it. And it will expand. To send a new email message, click this button here. Here is where you type in the email address of the recipient. You could type in multiple ones. Separate them with a comma. Here is a carbon copy. Carbon copy sends an, an exact copy of the email directly to another person. You could also send an email message as a blind carbon copy to somebody, BCC. Blind carbon copy is very, very similar to carbon copy, except that when you blind carbon copy somebody, they do not get to see any of the other mail recipients. They just see your email address. So you could send a certain email to a thousand people and the blind carbon copy recipient will not see any of those people, but the carbon copy recipient will. And also anybody you put in the two. Here's a subject. Put anything you want. Body, anything you want. This is similar to Microsoft Word. If anybody has used any type of word processor, they even include smiley faces. Stationary. They have a few stationary things on here. Just click it, and there'll be a background. This is what the recipient will see when, when they receive in their mail. This is a lining list, just like Microsoft Word, indentation. Then you just click send when you're done. Or you could save it as a draft, check your spelling, just like Microsoft Word. Or if you want to attach a file, you click here. It'll open up to a certain folder, but you could grab any file from your computer. For this example, I'll just grab a picture. It'll attach it. You could attach up to a 10 megabyte file. And Norton Antivirus scans it. If you want to remove it, you just click here, remove. If you want to attach another file, click here again. And it attaches it. When you're done, just click send. You could always see this as a bookmark. Just grab it, throw it on the bar. This will work in Internet Explorer, Firefox, or most other browsers. You just grab and drop it in. So anytime you ever want to go to Yahoo Mail, you just click here. It goes automatically. Here's a feature, it's activity. You could always turn this off if you want. If anybody has Yahoo Instant Messenger, you can message them directly through Yahoo Mail if you want without installing any of the program. 